Hi, I'm Lauren, and welcome to Master Spas TV, where you'll learn that it's just as easy to own a swim spa as it is to relax in one. Today, we're going to walk through how to fill your swim spa. Gather the following items, a number two Phillips screwdriver and square bit head, a garden hose with a pre-filter, and sequestering agent to help with initial water treatment. If you're a new owner and you're filling up your swim spa for the first time, there's a few things you'll want to make sure that you do before you add water. Remove the skirting section on the 8-foot spa seat end. This is where the spa control system is. Use a square bit to remove the screws on the skirting. We recommend keeping the skirting section off while you fill your swim spa. Make sure that the pump connections are secure. These can come loose during transportation or when the electrician is making his connections. Now you're ready to fill up your swim spa. Grab your garden hose and attach a pre-filter. Contact your local Master Spas dealer if you need one. The pre-filter is important because it helps remove suspended solids and heavy metals found in your source water. It also helps reduce hard mineral deposits. Next, remove the filter closest to the control panel. We need water to flow directly through this fitting to force air out of the pump and plumbing line. Keep an eye out to make sure that items such as leaves don't make their way into the fitting. Now it's time to turn on the water. Go back to the swim spa and make sure that the water is flowing properly. If you have a swim spa with a clear acrylic divider, you will need to fill the swim side first before filling the hot tub. It is normal to see some water transfer between the two sides when filling or draining your swim spa. Once the water has filled the footwell, it's time to add the sequestering agent. It will combat suspended minerals in your source water. Check the back of the bottle and your owner's manual to see how much you'll need. It's best to get this about 30 minutes to filter through your spa once it's running before adding any other chemicals. Now it's the waiting game. How long it takes for your swim spa to fill up will depend on the size of your swim spa and the water pressure at your house. If you walk away from your swim spa while it's filling, it's a good idea to set a timer so you remember to check on it periodically. You will want to fill your swim spa to the safe water level. It can be higher than this, but never lower. Once your swim spa is filled, turn off the hose and replace the filter. If a licensed electrician has already connected your swim spa, turn on the breaker. Once power is initiated to your swim spa, it will go through a priming mode. During this process, you'll manually activate each pump. Do this for 5 to 10 seconds several times to get rid of any air in the plumbing. If the pumps are primed, the water will be flowing from all the jets. If water didn't flow for all the pumps, shut the breaker off and back on and try one more time. If a pump is kicking on, but water still isn't flowing, you may need to loosen the top plumbing connection of that pump to untrap the air that's stuck. Now, check that all of the plumbing connections are tight. You will know that they are tight if no water is dripping. You can now put the swim spa skirting back on. And that's it. Now your swim spa is filled and ready for the next steps. Make sure you check back for more videos for caring for and using your swim spa. And if you have ideas for future videos, leave them in the comments below or email us at howto at masterspas.com. Until next time, enjoy your swim spa.